Hello everyone, Mark here with Mark's Max Muscle, and today we're going to do a little comparison between Sean Roden and Dexter Jackson. This of course was at the 2015 Mr. Olympia event. Dexter Jackson miraculously placed second at this event, took the silver medal, and of course Sean Roden probably suspected that he would be the one to either play second or maybe even win this event. But I always thought it was a little bit suspicious. Perhaps it was a, a gift. Maybe some politics were involved. Who knows? Let's have a little overview of these two athletes and compare the two. And I must say, right from the get-go, the conditioning, that deep, deep conditioning of Dexter Jackson. Look at that thin skin and the vascularity level. Now I see why perhaps the judges seen it his way. Of course, the, the muscularity and the shape, the, wow, that muscle separation and those abs of Sean Roden, fantastic. And, of course, those legs. Look at the size of those legs, proportions, symmetry, things of that nature. Of course, the symmetry, Dexter Jackson, not too shabby either. Of course, one of the arms, one of the biceps is a little bit smaller there. But conditioning is a pretty important part of this as the Tominator. He just did a video on judging and wow, what a good video that was. Check it out. But anyway, he said that conditioning should be more important here. And if you do see it that way, then I definitely would say Dexter Jackson is probably taking this pose. Of course, the front lat spread, it's a little bit much for Dexter Jackson to handle. I mean, look at that presentation. Those lats are flaring pretty nice in the part of Sean Roden. Not to mention the lags, that X-frame. Now, yes, of course, the conditioning seems to be a little bit better again here for Dexter Jackson, but his lats, they don't, they're, they're just definitely not Dorian-esque, so to speak. And that midsection, I must say, I was never a fan of Dexter Jackson's midsection. But, of course, no disrespect meant to him. Either way, I would definitely be giving this one to Sean Roden. And here we have the first of the two back shots, the rear lat spread. And I must say, I am surprised. I thought for sure this was perhaps a political gift for Dexter Jackson to place over Sean Roden. But Dexter Jackson's back. It is fantastic here in 2016. Look at the conditioning. That Christmas tree, that lower lat insertion, that separation from the Christmas tree to the lower lats. I mean, look at the traps themselves, that muscle maturity. If anybody has muscle maturity here, it is Dexter Jackson, of course. Sean Roden, no slouch in the age department. I must say, the overall shape and X-frame, Dexter, or Sean Roden, rather, would be scoring a victory in that area. So I could see how certain people would give this one to Sean Roden. Not me. Dexter Jackson definitely scoring a point here. So it is up to Roden to turn things around with this rear double by. And I must say, conditioning-wise, he may have turned things around. I don't know how he does it, but look at that Christmas tree area on Roden. Looks a little bit more striated than Dexter Jackson's. Not to mention the traps look a little bit more vascular as well. And of course, I neglected to mention the calves. Of course, that X-frame adds to that. Look at the calves. Dexter Jackson, he was never a uh, champion in that department, so to speak. Either way, I think I would lean slightly towards Roden in this one, and that surprises me. Dexter Jackson's back is not to be trifled with. This is an interesting contest. It is tie game. And with the side chest pose being Dexter Jackson's, probably his best pose, things could look good for him, but think again. Look at this. Sean Roden looks world class here. I mean, Dexter Zach Jackson still winning in the arm department. Look at the size of his arm. But look at the chest. Look at the legs. And not to mention the waistline. Looks a little bit distended, I think, in Dexter Jackson's part. Of course, Sean Roden. Look at the separation in those legs and the glutes. That alone leads me to believe that his conditioning, at least in this pose, is leading the charge. So, gets a point here without a doubt. And with the lack of side tricep pose, we are right on to this, the most muscular. This is surprising to me also. Dexter Jackson just looks like a little beast. 
Of course, he is much smaller in this comparison. I am taking that into consideration, as well as the lag department, Roden winning in that. But look at the conditioning and muscularity of that upper body of Dexter. The traps just bulging out and vascular to boot. I would lean slightly toward Dexter Jackson in this one, as I am not overlooking that mass, that size, and presentation of one Sean Roden. This is a very interesting com er, uh, contest, and with no good, decent ab and thigh comparison, I'm going to jump right into these ones here. These are comparison judging, and they were both on the stage at the exact same time. I just scooched his over to Sean Roden's Dexter Jackson's, and I must say, I would still rather lean towards Dexter Jackson in this one, that muscle separation and the biceps alone. I was never a fan of Sean Roden's softer biceps. Of course, it is close here when you look at the legs and the X-frame of Sean Roden, so still a close one in this pose. The decision on the front lat spread would also stay the same based on this picture, though of course they're a little unclear, so conditioning is sketchy to make a decision on that, but we remember the conditioning of the other poses. And I would say Dexter Jackson may be winning in that area, but the lats, the symmetry is off on them. The presentation here goes to Sean Roden, so still a tie game as far as I'm concerned after these two poses. And the rear lat spread, ditto to my choice with the first selection of Dexter Jackson. Look at that muscle separation. If anything, I am leaning even more towards Dexter Jackson. Look at that back development. Not to be messed with is the blade Dexter Jackson. Anyway, Dexter Jackson winning after three poses. I will be once again sticking with my original decision of Sean Roden here in the rear double by. Close though, when you look at those lower lat insertions, Dexter Jackson definitely has a better set of lats, don't get me wrong, in this pose. But Sean Roden able to display his very nice predominantly. Not to mention that Christmas tree and the trap uh, areas definitely going to him as well. And the legs and of definitely the calves. Now on to the side shots. In which case I am still leaning towards Roden in the side chest. But it is a lot closer here. Look at the size of the upper body of Dexter Jackson. Fantastic. I still say the distended midsection is saving Roden here. Look at his waistline, nice and trim, not to mention the glutes and the separation in the legs. Just enough to squeak by that tremendous pec development and arms of Dexter Jackson. So it will be up to these final two poses, beginning with this side tricep. And I must say, physique-wise, the rest of the body, besides the arm, of course, goes to Sean Roden. Look at that sleek design, that, that uh, symmetry, that waistline, unbeatable, the lag department as well. But then when you look at the arm, the tricep itself, Dexter Jackson, what can I say? What a beast. So I must say this is a close one. Not as controversial as I thought it may be. I figured Sean Roden would more than handle himself in this contest. But I must say... Dexter Jackson, uh, I would give him this one. I have to. Look at Sean Roden has no tricep, and my final decision will rest on this final pose, this ab and thigh shot. And I would give it to Sean Roden based on this comparison. As you may know, I am not a fan of Dexter Jackson's midsection and the flow. Look at those thighs on Sean Roden. Massive, just massive. So really, Sean Roden wins this one, in my opinion, by a single point. And that's basically my personal preference in a lot of these shots. It was a close one. So no real controversy at the 2015 Mr. Olympia. I should have suspected that the judges know what they're doing, much more than I do anyway. So I gotta hand it to them, at least in this, this, uh, this comparison between Sean Roden and Dexter Jackson. But I hope you enjoyed this video anyway, and let me know in your uh, in the comment section below your opinion whether you think that Sean Roden deserved the second place at this Mr. Olympia event. If you haven't already, please go ahead and tap that subscribe button and increase me one more sub at least, get me close to that thousand sub mark, and then I will do a backflip, or at least a front flip. Not sure I can do a backflip. So. Can't, can't guarantee that one, but I can guarantee I will be posting another video after this one, and look forward to that one. Have a great day.